Hello, this is Chaos Knight, back on my take on Siege. Through some suggestions, I've been told to try and make a commentary to explain my logic and reasoning behind my 200 IQ plays. Enjoy the video. Okay, so here we are, we're in bank. This is a map certainly where certain operators do very well. And this definitely includes, um, you know, Thermite, Montagna, uh, perhaps Sibana as well. So we, we can clearly see that, you know, in the meta at the moment, everyone tends to pick basement and everyone on my team thought the exact same thing. So in order to make this much more of a better push and play with the team. We already have a Thermite, a Thatcher, a Twitch and a Montagna. We spawn in tunnel, so we're going to push tunnel. We already can breach, we can already cover, and we can already take out any mirrors perhaps with Twitch. So what we need now is someone to stop the roamers, which is where I come in. I picked this operator to fill this role. And arguably, I could have picked other operators. I could have picked Jackal. I could have picked Blitz. I could have picked Dockerby. But, you know, this is gold, and I can get away with playing line. No one's going to care. And so that's exactly what I did. So my job, specifically, is I'm going to push with the team. I'm going to back up Montagna, use my drones, of course, and my ability to flush out any roamers and take over the site. And that's exactly what will happen. Four claymores, let's go. Where are we gonna put them all? We need to locate a bomb. Be advised your drone has located a bomb. So, I changed Ali Access here because it is more preferable to attack Ali Access to gain control of Blue and the office and basically anywhere um, close to the site of Tunnel. So, I tried doing this. However, no one would spawn with me, and so it would be an idiot like decision to go on my own. So, of course, I changed my mind. It is better off, though, to do this when you want to clear out roamers. Ten seconds. At least I believe so. Five seconds to insertion. Also notice how I put my drone. I put my drone near blue. And so the, good, the point of this is that we'll know exactly if someone comes out of blue, or if someone's in blue, we'll hear them. And whereabouts they may be when I try to flush rumors out. I'll be going down tunnel, of course. So if I know someone's in blue, I'll pre-fire blue. If I know someone is in archives, I'll push and pre-fire archives or I'll push archives, whatever you know the situation calls for. I can always use this drone again, just to be sure. Drone placement is key. The diffuser has been secured. You've located a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. Now, I didn't have to be the one to drone here at the start. I just wanted to point this out. I don't mean to pause all the time, but this is also important. Um, you know, Twitch could have done this, probably. But, of course, I'm in solo queue and we can't coordinate. So, I want to make sure I'm the first one to know where everything is. And I can call it to my team if necessary. Now, I'm not, now you can, as you can see here, I'm not using my line ability as we're pushing through tunnel. This is important because of his nerf. 
He only has two charges, and he has a 30 second cooldown between the two. This means that I can't just spam him, and I can't just waste him for simple pushes like this, right? We need to save them for situations where the enemy has to move or die. Those are brilliant times to use Lion's Charge. A good example would be planting the bomb. So it's important, therefore, that you use Lion's Drones first before activating Big Brother. That's pretty much what I wanted to say here. Now, again, I have to stop you. We just lost our Monty to a teammate. This is very bad, okay? For for good reason. We know they have mirror, and we know they're going to play the mirror strat, okay? This is the meta. They don't. They're idiots. Now, we can still do the strat. It's still doable. However, it will be very difficult. Um, we don't have any smoke grenades. We only have claymores. <laughs> Um, so, this is a high risk, uh, mission. You'll see how it plays out. You have located a bomb. I know it's safe, so I can go on and push up. I got my drone out again, uh, just to remind everyone that it's important to check. Um, even though I knew blue was clear from the prep phase, it's important to check again. You'll never know when the enemy is going to come. Lots of people die due to like timing when it comes to pushing. You know, people run in. I I do this a lot, right? I'm not showing you this of course because I don't want to look bad, but I've been in plenty of situations where I just run in, thinking it's all clear, but then I miss a little nook or cranny where someone's you know, prone, you know, I didn't check quite as well, you know, just by pure mistake, or perhaps, you know, they came in at the time I, wrong time, so, it's always good to double check. This is the point where I'm most vulnerable. I activate the E1D to push out um, because I know no one's around here and if they were to come up here I would see them. Um, the same applies for later on when I take the bomb. People have to move and I have the chance to pick them off. So this is why it's good to activate it now. Helps the team underneath as well, if con by convention it does, but we're not coordinated so I can't do that. Now the reason this is like the turning point uh, when I gain control of the middle ground, right? This is the center of the map. I take time to listen out for footsteps, and I basically take my chances, um, it, you know, if anyone's hiding or not. Um, I don't tend to drone at this point because I'm in the middle of nowhere, and taking out your drone at this point is kind of more foolish than just aiming somewhere. So we'll see how this plays out. Take time to this. Two v two. Things took a turn. Luckily, my friend gets the plant. Taking off. the bad guys. Let's hunt the sheep. The user is active. Protected at all costs. Reload. Op four eliminated. Clutch. Lion. Lion still good. So good. And hence I win the round. I use it at the right time, and I said in my in my recording, caught them off guard. This is how you play line. It's not reliable in high play, um, just because it's just not consistent, you know. 
there's more operators with much higher kind of flexibility with their abilities like jackal right you got free charges uh you you can scan you can track footprints you have better guns arguably so activate it when the bomb goes off and <laughs> cool let's go i should really pick i should really buy mirror i don't really want to play it on main at all maybe that's why in gold i never play mirror I haven't even got it yet on my roster. I've done it without uh, Jax. So now you're about to see me lose this round. Um, sorry for spoilers. I'm going to tell you right now. Um, I have lost this round because I have very potato aim. You're going to see me mess up a lot of shots. Um, you know, playing as Brook, I've got an ACOG, should have an it should be even with the enemy team, unlike everyone else, but I mess it up. I do go for a very radical strat, because, as you can see here, if you didn't notice earlier, we just changed to staff room, staff room at the final minute, and I was not um, final second. I didn't expect this, and you're about to see me get a little bit like, ooh, <laughs> spooked. So, whatever I was planning before, it's gone out the window, and... No one else roams. Cav kind of does, but she doesn't do it very well. So I just go off and roam somewhere. Of course, Rook's probably the, the worst. Arguably for roaming. It's got an ACOG, sure, but. Don't kill yourself. I don't play Dark. Guys, what's I'm missing? I don't mind. It's good to talk, communicate, you know. Little comments like that help. I see a lot of pros do this, so I kind of wanted to do the same thing. <laughs> Get like a 4K or something. Crazy thoughts. This was bad luck. Uh, as soon as I turned away, he appeared right in front of me. Oh, poor timing, poor timing, poor timing. I'm injured. I got go. What the fuck, Rube? Right. That was inappropriate. <laughs> uh, Mary doesn't like it when a uh, castle barricades get busted. But, you know, it's uh, still die. I'm not going to sit around get picked off and uh you know those people who just think it's okay to be a prick i don't know you, you like i'm gonna say now like she she's silent for the rest of the game but you know stuff like that just makes our lives horrible i'm probably being a bit of a prick myself for being sensitive but you know it just doesn't sit well with me yeah, not necessarily in general skylight Making cool out. Have the castle by the
operator remaining. Okay, so I just butchered another shot <laughs> for the probably second, third time. And things aren't looking so great. I have to 1v3 with 21 HP left. Um, so we know Ash is taking the site. Thermite's above still as well, because we, we blew the hatch. And IQ is outside. Now, in this situation, you kind of want to get picks, all right? I know Ash is over there, and she has to keep pushing if she wants to claim the kill. So I take this opportunity to try and catch IQ off guard. She's going to think the site's gone. At least the team tells her, like, you know, Rook uh, is hiding, or perhaps Rook is, you know, no one's fighting him. So what I'm trying to say is, I believe I have the chance to kill her if she hops through the window. She, I'll see her before she sees me. If Ash starts running, I'll just turn and face her again. I can hear her. Mission failed. All friendlies have been neutralized. So, you know, I feel very guilty for this, and you know, I'm sorry, my fellow clanmates, I am a burden to your clan. Why are they, why are they angry at me? I broke a castle window. <laughs> I'm roaming. Charlton, if you're watching this, uh, this is not Chill. my worst, or my best. This is just a, a game, and I'm bad at this game. Uh... This is why I'm in gold. Because my aim is shite. The hatch right on me. Okay, there's one, yeah, one still is right now. Which is in reading. So, as you can see, we're trying this strat again. And the the point here is I've got to be aware that if they may adapt now. Um, we're also assuming they'll pick basement again. You know, but either way, they're going to do something in response to that thrashing we just gave them. Sorry, I had a cough. So, someone picked a different operate this time. Thatcher went back bid. Um, but the strat still remains the same. Everyone's spawning tunnel. And we're going to go for another plant. I need to obviously change in my old setup. Or change the way I enter the building. Something different. Doing the exact same thing isn't going to work, most likely. Unless the enemy is you know, stupid, which can happen in gold. I'm rambling. Uh, keep watching. Nope. In a hell hole. He's inside. Hey. Someone's in A. Someone's in A. Alright. One's on that door. We need to locate a bomb. Bomb. Right, so you just saw there that we now know that someone's in blue. They're going to make a more conscious effort to defend server room and possibly even defend off open area and staff room. So it's important to know now that what I'm going to do again is unlikely to work as well as the last time it did. And so something has to be different. So what you can see in a minute is I will spawn with Blackbeard in alleyway. Uh, I notice he spawns in alleyway. So I take the opportunity to push with him into open area, skylight, and clear the area. 10 seconds to go. They should be. Five seconds to insertion. Keep ourselves fresh, we must adapt. The diffuser is now secured. You found the bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. Okay, so as you can see, I'm, I'm going straight in and I'm activating this drone. Probably, perhaps a little early, maybe. Or maybe I could spend more time on my drone 
and take longer to push the place. But I already know that open area is clear, Blackbeard's covering Skylight, and I haven't checked archives. Out of that and activating my drone at the same time, I believe the odds are in my favour. So I activate the drone and I beeline straight for blue. It's a risk, but I'm willing to take it. History's repeating itself. We've taken blue. I push for stairs. Again, we're in that same position where I need to listen out for people. Stay behind me. Shouldn't be aiming at nothing, but I'm just listening. Also, remember to take out the cam this time. Spawning, pushing. Bomb has been located. Bomb site's clear. I shake the vault. One out, four remaining. Now, I, st I don't push any further here for a good reason. We know someone is either in there or still roaming elsewhere. It's highly unlikely they're roaming still. Blackbeard and I sweeps most of the area. So I'm putting my money that someone's around there, the corner. It's not worth peeking it, of course. We have the bomb. We're the defenders now. They're the attackers. 1v4. Easy. I'm not nationalist. If I was Ash, I probably uh, would have been a brain dead, uh, you know, fragger <laughs> like everyone else. But I am smart. 200 IQ plays. What did I do last time? I played Rook and I died in the clutch. So. People are waiting for it. Oh. Uh. Mirror. Okay. That's why I picked Rook. I say I picked Rook for a good reason. Um, there's a there's a strategy where you can nade both the walls um, between sites and peak a very tight angle to server room. Without mirror in the way, I can do this easily. So that's what I do. It doesn't pay off because we're in gold. Um, let me make those holes. I'm all good. But Secure the bomb. I can show you all. Bomb location compromised. Plan accordingly. Located a bomb. Be ready for hostile action. Wall fortification complete.
be honest, everyone could have won this without me at all. <laughs> Romans did a good job. I wasn't needed. End me now. Oh, come on. This is why I am in gold. Eliminated. Mission successful. Give me the kill. Uh. An LMG. It was an LMG. Oh, yuck. Uh, you know what? I highly doubt they're going to do the same thing again, so I'm going to switch it up. They, they just, they just can't go like. It's imp they, they can't like yeah, like I think some of us are aware they can't go Rocco again. Okay, um, I say this, but to be honest, I have no idea how che um choosing sites works on bomb. Okay. Um, I think you have to, you know what, no, I'm not even going to guess, okay. I had no idea how bomb sites work, but the main reason why I chose Blitz now instead of Line wasn't because I would suspect they changed sites, but partly the reason actually, but the, the main reason is because I've been playing him for quite a bit now, and the enemy team will probably guess, oh, he's going to pick Line again, he's going to try and clear blue, you know, attack the site, um, or you know, wherever else, they'll anticipate me playing line. So I decided to pick another character uh, to deal with Roma's jackal helps as well, but, uh, you know, I've, I felt quite comfortable in my current role, so I just play another anti-Roma. Um, so it just feels important, actually, just to change your operator um, after a while. It's just a gut feeling. It's probably the best thing to do. That's why I'd recommend that. To locate a bomb. Your drone has found a bomb. Oh, really? So again, I put my drone, drone has a bomb. somewhere useful. I'm going to attack uh, open office. Five seconds. I'm happy Jackal spawned with me. I don't like spawning on my open area. And it's actually, secured. you're going to see why uh, pushing away is good. Just because I have Jackal with me. So I noticed Bandit was upstairs. And I know open area is mostly clear. So I'm going in. Mainly a rush, so I'm kind of ignoring one. Right, as you can see here, if it weren't for Jackal, I probably would have died to Legion. Um, or not, depending if I push the stairs. But, you know, there's a lot of what ifs in Rainbow Six Siege, but I'm happy to have Jackal with me. And this is why you shouldn't push alone most of the time, unless you're a Ash main and you're, you're a god. Um, I'm not a god, and I hate playing Ash. I hate Ash. I hate Ash. I fucking hate Ash. But um, I turn my on a swivel. I turn to Legion now. Jackal got injured pretty badly. He needs backup. Uh, Bandit's probably upstairs still, but he's not concerned at the moment. Swapping man. 
had a bit of hesitation here, because I wasn't sure if they had a frost mount or a leash line. Rest in peace, Twitch. The is now secured. Bob, four last stops standing. So there we have it. That's the end of the game. Now, it's it from this perspective, it looks like I trashed them, and it was probably quite the stomp. But it's important to know that the stuff I mentioned here is what differs you from a player lower than gold and a player that deserves to be in gold, or maybe above gold. <laughs> I think I deserve to be above gold. This is the insight of a plat player. I hope you enjoyed this. But, you know, <laughs> this is uh, how the game works, you see. I'm not a god player. And I try my best to know and do what works. I'll see you all next time. Tell me what you think of this commentary. I think I made it purposely quite minimalistic. Um, for good reasons. I want you to see as much of the match as possible. I don't want you thinking like, oh, I'm cutting to other matches. Or I'm cutting, you know, around corners to make myself look good. I'm showing you everything. I'm showing you when I fuck up. I'm showing you when I'm doing awesome. I'll see you all next time. Chaos out.